Hello, I'm going to show you my filter setup. Actually, it's a band, out band pass filter controlled by Arduino. And it's part of my project, receive project, based on SCI uh, 30 X uh, device. Here I have a signal generator. I can control the output frequency by this encoder and and the output signal is connected to the input uh, filter input and here I can measure the output signal. As you can see on my scope, the same uh, frequency and the same signal level can be uh, seen here. It is a SCAT, Arduino SCAT, that, can, that uh, I can control what the filter I want to use. The first filter is a shortcut. So uh, it's just a wire and actually it's not a filter. The second filter, the filter number one, is, uh, is working from, should work actually, from four to eight megahertz. The filter number two should work from eight to 16 megahertz. And filter number three, should work to from uh, 16 to 30 megahertz. So uh, now I, I, I will change the filter that I want to use in first filter. Sorry, the first filter, as I can said before, is just a, bi a bypass. Uh, signal, no filter here. Now I'm going to use the filter number one at eight megahertz. As you can see, the output signal is very att attenuated. And why? This the, this the second filter works well from uh, four to eight megahertz. And this frequency here is uh, on the, the adjacent frequency that this filter was calculated. So it's natural to observe a, a big atten attenuation here. If I, if I decrease decrease the frequency we can see this the signal level uh, very similar to the or, the original signal the blue the blue uh, signal is the input and the yellow signal uh, means the output <clears throat> so the this filter at uh, 5 megahertz can uh, work as expected. If I decrease it again, you can you will observe the this output signal very attenuated. Now I will select the filter number two. The filter number two uh, at four megahertz, at, uh, this the signal output is very attenuated too, as you can see here. Let me now try to increase the frequency. This filter, filter number two, should work from uh, eight to 16 megahertz. 
So as, as you can see here, the at 12 megahertz, the input signal is almost the same the output signal as you can see here uh, the signal is a bit attenuated by the the due to this signal generator when you increase the frequency i don't know why the the signal level uh, decrease but uh, the, the the it's very important here is the 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 transition, uh, the transfer of this the input signal to output signal. So, <clears throat> as you can see here, there is no difference, significant difference here. So this filter here, the filter number two, is working as expected. Let me show you this filter uh, running at uh, frequency, frequency greater than 16. As you can see here, the, the output signal is a bit attenuated if compared to the original signal. So let me decrease again to a frequency uh, less than 16 megahertz. You can observe the output signal, yellow, and I will decrease to, now it's running at 16 megahertz, and I will decrease a bit more, 15, 14, Eleven, ten, nine, seven, and uh, less than seven megahertz. You can see the signal output very attenuated. Now I will show you. Uh, this filter, filter number one, number three, sorry, working. It should work from 16 to 30 uh, megahertz. The signal generator is running at 12 megahertz. Uh, and now I will select the filter number three. As you can see on my scope, <clears throat> the output signal is very, very attenuated. So I will increase the, the frequency and you can see um, the output signal behavior. At 23 megahertz, the signal output is a bit attenuated if compared to the, the original signal, but it's, it's, it's working as, as expected because we always have some attenuation uh, by using uh, filters, so uh, it's a uh, regular. It's, uh, uh, normal behavior and at 40 megahertz the output signal is really attenuated if compared to the input signal so uh, we have a, a I, I, we have a good filter in my opinion uh, good way to to use uh, the right filter to the to improve the, the receive perf performance and I think a few adjusts here I can finish this uh, project 
Uh, I have built a library to control the, the filter, as you can see here, and it uh, help, will help the developer to, to use this setup. Finally, I would like to thank to Mr. Jim Reagan. Uh, Jim uh, is a member of this group and he developed this board and sent some of them to, to me. And it made this process, my test and my setup easier. Thanks, Jim.